parents take joy in watching their child's first milestones, such as taking their first steps, smiling, or waving by. But for some parents, those milestones are fleeting. A rare genetic disease not only robs their child of those precious skills, it erases their memory and eventually leads to death. San Filippo syndrome, also known as childhood Alzheimer's, affects 1 in 70,000 births in the U.S. Unfortunately, there are no treatment options for patients, only management. But researchers at Clemson University in South Carolina are working to change that prognosis. Reporter Carrie Beal gives us insight into how research on a fruit fly provides hope for a treatment. Eliza is an absolutely precious young lady now. She's 15. We have also seen her hold on to some skills um, that were surprising to us. Eliza was born with San Filippo syndrome and diagnosed at the age of three. It was a shock to us. We knew she was having some developmental differences. At birth, children with this syndrome appear healthy, but slowly they lose their ability to speak, walk, eat, and sleep. Experts say it's often called childhood Alzheimer's because the symptoms are similar and it mostly impacts the brain. It was difficult, um, you know, when we got the diagnosis, when you're told your child is basically going to fade away and die um, in, you know, a decade, basically, uh, it's, it throws everything upside down your entire life. The O'Neills decided to do everything in their power to change their daughter's prognosis. It's why they started this nonprofit called the Cure San Filippo Foundation. We started 11 years ago with just our family. And now 11 years later, we have 150 partner families that work with us around the country and around the world. That support allowed them to raise enough money to start funding studies, including one at Clemson University. He's going to put each fly into a tiny little tube. Researchers are using fruit flies to test different treatment options. This is probably something very surprising to most people. 70% of human disease genes have fruit fly counterparts. Trudy McKay says children with San Filippo syndrome have too much buildup of heparin sulfate in the lysosome of a cell. The top is what a healthy cell looks like. This buildup causes damage to the brain. So we know the cause, but what we don't understand is why. McKay says the cause is a lack of an enzyme, which is needed for healthy cells. Researchers have identified four drugs that are already on the market and are testing to see if they work against San Filippo syndrome. The O'Neills don't know if this research will save their daughter, but they know it will help others. I think for us, it feels like Eliza's life and all that she's gone through, the suffering. Um, not to say that it meant something, but that it, good has come from it. Mm -hmm. So other children don't have to suffer through it. If these drugs prove to be promising in fruit flies, the next step is to test them in clinical trials in humans. The O'Neills say they hope that will happen within the next few years.